Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can import your JSON block models into Minecraft. So maybe you have created a model using my model creator and you want to be able to put that model into a resource pack and then you want to be able to use it in Minecraft. Well, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that today and it is actually very simple. A lot of people find it confusing, but I've got a very great tool that is going to make it really easy for you guys. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is download Resource Pack Workbench by Mighty Pork. Now, if you don't know, Mighty Pork is a well-known modder in the Minecraft community. And this program makes it really easy to create and manage your resource pack because you can simply go in there, override whatever model texture you want to, and you can export it straight into your Minecraft resource pack folder. You don't even have to know where it is to be able to export to it. And you can load up your game, apply the tech, the resource pack, and you're done. So what you need to do is go ahead and download this. So simply just scroll down and click on this latest version here. If you have um, Mac OS X, you can uh, download that one there. Um, but this first one should work for, every, for Windows and Mac because it is a jar file. So once you've downloaded that, you want to open it up. Now your screen won't come up straight away with this, it will actually come up with this here. So what you want to do is you want to select um, one of the 8.1.8 versions. So I'm just going to do the latest version, which is 1.8.3, and then you'd press OK. But I've already done this, but for you, um, click on 1.8.3 and then click OK and then wait for that process to be done and then after it this should be opened up what you want to do first is go project create new project and we're just going to go blank and then we're going to uh, set the name of our project so we're just going to call this um, test pack and then the title we might just name it test pack again it doesn't really matter so this is the um, the pack, the pack title shown in Minecraft and then this is just the project folder name and then click on create and then what we're going to do as well if this isn't um, ticked on just click use fancy tree structure and it just makes it a lot organized a lot more organized now what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be overriding the cauldron so the cauldron requires four different models so this is cauldron when it's empty when it's got one level of water two levels of water and three levels of water. So we're simply going to go back into our program, go into models, blocks, and then we're going to scroll down to cauldron. So let's have a look, cauldron, cauldron. So here we go here, cauldron empty, cauldron level one, level two, and level three. What we're going to do is right click on cauldron empty, click import, re import replacement, Browse to that location of that file, so cauldron empty, and import it. And then we're going to do the same for level 1 water, so import replacement. And we're going to click the level 1 water here. Oops, double click that. Level 2, import replacement, our level 2 water model. And then the last one, level 3, so this is cauldron water level 3. Import that. And then we can see over here we've just got a little preview of our new code. So if we just wanted to edit that, um, we could. But as you can see, yeah, this model is generated by my model creator, which you can download. There will be a link in the description if you guys are curious about that. Uh, I'm just going to discard that because I don't want to make any changes to it. So we've overridden all the um, cauldrons. And what we're simply going to do is go project, export pack to Minecraft, and then we're just going to go, don't change settings, just because um, these ones actually modify that kind of texture pack order that you've got. So it will put it like at the top or something like that. And then we're just going to leave the pack name as test pack and go ahead and click on export. And then it should uh, do this processing and then say export successful. We're going to go close. So if we go ahead and we load up Minecraft now, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure our resource pack has been turned on. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that because that was just a test one I made before. We're going to put test pack at the top here. This is the test pack we just created and it actually exports into your resource pack folder so you don't have to worry about moving it in there. So you should find it in this list to the left there. Then make sure you put it onto the top. Press done. Done. Go back into the game and then we're going to go to our cauldron. 
get that out, pop that on the ground, and as you can see, we have got our cauldron in the game now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with some water, boom, and then we can get some bottles out. Just going to go game mode S just so we can see the, um, so we actually get the water bottles back. So there we go, we've got three water bottles and we can't actually put it back in because that's not a feature of the cauldron. But as you can see, we have got all four models of the cauldron imported into our game. So it's very simple. Now one thing as well is if we just go back into the uh, resource back workbench is just go project, save project, and then if you want to open this back up again, simply just go project and then um, just go into recent projects and it should be in there or you can go into my projects here and you'll have a list of all the projects that you've created in here and it is very simple so again once you've made some more changes just go export pack to Minecraft and then just do that same process again so there we go it is very simple to actually do it people found it confusing but with this tool it is very simple so hopefully you learned how to override models in Minecraft or textures because you can use this for textures if you want to. Um, not only that, there's also um, like the fonts you might want to override, the audio. Um, there's, you can override shaders as well, I didn't know about that. Um, and also the block states which is um, important as well. So that's going to end off this video. If you learned how to do this today, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.